filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. Well, hello there, upstanding citizen. Welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're going to take a departure from our what's considered normal content around here and dive into the world of FOIA requests. Before we start, don't forget to tap Aruski that like button and uh, give the subscribe button a little bit of love too. Every bit of interaction we get from you guys really helps us navigate the YouTube algorithm. We appreciate that. Now, if you're like me, you love law enforcement videos on YouTube and got me thinking, how do these channels acquire all this footage? Well, that would be through FOIA requests, Freedom of Information Act. Now, let me set the stage here for this incident we're going to talk about today. A few weeks ago, my wife and I were leaving a local restaurant when we saw a couple of upstanding citizens driving like morons in the Walmart parking lot. Now, we weren't the only ones who saw this. Actually, a couple of police officers that were just hanging out saw this as well. But we captured all this on my dash cam footage, and we thought, hey, cool, man. You know, instant justice, instant karma has, has prevailed here. We saw something cool. We finally captured something cool on our dash camera, and we went about our evening. But later on, after watching the dash cam footage, I wondered if I could obtain that footage from the officer's point of view, your body camera footage, maybe 911 or radio traffic calls, the cruiser dash cam. So I got on Google and I Googled how to submit a FOIA request with the local department that had jurisdiction over that stop. Now, if you're not familiar with a FOIA request or Freedom of Information Act, this is a tool available to any citizen to request official government documentation. Mainly it's used uh, to obtain body cam footage, dash cam footage, arrest record documents, court documentation on certain incidents that happen, like our reckless driving incident that we witnessed a few weeks ago. Um, but it can also be used on pretty much any government entity. So you could contact your local board of elections and get FOIA request documentation on that. I mean, any government entity out there basically has a, 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 an office that deals with FOIA requests. But there's a couple of things to know about FOIA requests. Number one, you're not guaranteed to receive all the documentation that you want in an incident. If legally they, they deem that this is not really public or we can't release this because it's an ongoing investigation, then they might redact a lot of information. You see this all the time on these big government you know, FOIA requests where they request from the FBI or the military and a bunch of stuff gets redacted. It's also not free. So you have to be uh, prepared to pay for any administrative cost that you know comes up with your FOIA request. In my uh, instance, it was like 30 bucks. It wasn't that bad. Um, I don't know if it could be more any other places, but just know that there is a little bit of things you have to jump through to get these requests. You just can't walk into the police department, slam your fist on the counter and demand the documentation. There is an official process to go through to get it. So that's what I did. I, uh, I sat down and submitted all the uh, documentation that I would need, which basically was the address of where the incident happened, uh, the time the incident happened, a description of that incident, and I also had the cruiser number of the Tahoe, police Tahoe that was there on scene. And lo and behold, wouldn't you know, about a week later, I had an email back from the FOIA office that said, your documentation is ready for you to collect and download. Please pay your admin fees and we'll release it to you. Well, then paying my admin fee in about 20 minutes, I had the footage sitting on my computer. Now, it is also important to remember that the people that are working in these offices, even though they are government workers and they technically do work for us, they're just like you and me. They're working a job. They're trying to feed their family. They're living their life. You get a lot further by being nice to people and respecting people than you do by walking in and going, I'm a First Amendment auditor, and darn it, you're going to give me this information right now. If you're nice and kind and respectful to people, you're more likely to get your request sent back to you sooner and without more roadblocks. So what follows here in this video is going to be a, uh, a breakdown of this entire incident. Some of it's the dash camera footage that I and my wife captured. A lot of it, though, is the actual police officer, the dash cam footage from the cruiser, and the body-worn camera footage of the officer. So you guys, if you enjoy the content, like I said, like it, subscribe, and maybe we'll do more of this content if this does really well. Appreciate y'all watching the channel. Enjoy the drama. You should really get that fixed. Get what fixed? The fucking door that doesn't work.
can't fix it. See y'all here. Give me an ID. Don't, don't, don't reach in the car. Come to the back. Don't don't reach in the car. Turn around. You being detained. What a dumbass. Just comply, do When you in the car? Okay, turn around. Step over here. Where's your ID in your car? It's not in my car. Where is it? I got a picture of it. You got a picture of it? Where's the picture at? In my phone. All right, give him your name and information. Tag applied for him. Why are y'all here um, doing donuts in the parking lot? Okay. You just spent out. Y'all was doing more than spending out. Mine's not the right here. Four foot down 1037 at Walmart parking lot 4004 Lawrenceville Highway. It's going to be on a black Lexus. Correction black Mercedes, no tag information at this time. Hey, we up here at Walmart. We had to come up here at Walmart real quick while we sitting in the parking lot. We had two idiots up there doing donuts in the parking lot. Um, and I allowed to tow their car since they was in the parking lot. Lay and drag. Okay. Um, and what else? Okay. Yes, sir. All right. Put put them in the back, in the back. Not on the race, just being detained. All right. Yes, sir. Just have a seat for me. All right. Yes, sir.
Tell me, what's your uh, phone number? All right. What was your previous address? All right. Carmelo, what is your address? Twenty three sixty five. Say that again. I got two. Twenty three sixty five. If it's not that, then it's two eight zero three. All Mitchell was coming at the out of Walmart. Get over here. He told me he was just pulling off. He lost. He, he didn't mean to do it, but he did it like three, four times. He ain't got no tag. Registration say NA. So, um, you get it for land drag. You said reckless driving. Eighteen and twenty. Hey, you know, um, they can get whatever they need to get out of. 
You doing them now? Don't yeah, I retold. Mm. I'm going now. Hey man, stop saying me stupid stuff. Bruh, this is an idiot. Dude, I did. Well, I did. I had to let somebody else do it. She's an idiot. Mm. Yeah, I just hold tight for me, okay? I'm gonna give you the information where your car gonna go, all right? You ain't a report? Hmm? You ain't a report? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> 
You roll the windows up once you make sure y'all got, got everything. Citations. Um, one for the reckless driving. Obviously, what you were just doing is clearly reckless. Uh, you will have a court date on November 5th at 9 a.m. 4200 Lawrenceville Highway. Okay. If you understand that, you need a signature right here on the X. And you're receiving a second citation for lane drag. Same thing. 4600 Lawrenceville Highway. Court date will be on November 5th at 9 a.m. If you have any questions, uh, these copies that I'm about to give you, there's a phone number on the back side. You can call that number Monday through Friday between 8.30 and 4.30 and they'll answer any questions you may have. Okay? There's your copies. This is where the vehicle is going. The registered owner is going to have to come pick it up. So, who is uh, Malcolm Kadoji? Oh, that's my dad. Alright, he's gonna have to come pick it up. Alright. Alright? Make sure you have some with uh, the VIN number on it. Alright. Since it doesn't have a tag on it, you gotta have some with the VIN number on it. Alright. That shows that. I got the title, but I got an old title. It doesn't have one. It's got some of the other things. For the radio, maybe five, ten, seven. Yeah, that should. Just have, make sure he have his ID with him since it's under his name. There shouldn't be a house. Alright? There's nothing else. Y'all good to go, man. Alright. 